I'm Mary Lou Alberetti, and this is the Blue Mountain Gallery, my first solo exhibition in New York City. It's called The Twain Shall Meet, and there are several reasons for that particular title. This work is comprised of a combination of ceramic reliefs, for example, here and here, and mixed media and collage pieces, and oil paintings. And what I've tried to do over the years is co to combine the ideas of one medium to another. So for example, I'll use some of the same textures in the mixed media pieces as I do in the ceramics. My background has been in ceramics. I taught at Southern Connecticut State University for many years and retired from teaching and went full time into my studio doing mainly ceramics, but then again getting into the other mediums. So in the oils, for example, I'd like to take you over to this particular oil painting. ...of cold wax, cardboard relief, and oil and cold wax to give a sense of the textures that I'm capturing in some of the ceramic reliefs. The theme, the twain shall meet, not only comes from the combination of materials, but from the ideas that went into creating these works. And those are the influences of architecture of Italy, southern Spain, Morocco, France, and several other countries that I've spent time in. Uh, I had a sabbatical in southern Italy and also spent some time on a sabbatical in southern Spain. And the architecture is a combination of many of the images that I've collected by sketching, by photographing, and from my memory. And I, I like to combine the images so that I get a sense of what's happened over the years, because even 900 years ago in southern Spain, when the Moors were there, you have a certain type of architecture that is also found in Morocco and in some parts of Italy. So all of these works have images from several areas. And some of them have allusions to some of the contemporary things that are happening now, for example, in the, um, the work about Palmyra, the architecture that was destroyed, and you'll find some of the images from there as well. Um, I'd like to show you that piece now. And that's over here. It's called City of Palms, comes from the idea of Palmyra. And you'll find in this area where I've used a transfer, a little bit of the piece of, of architecture that were lost in Palmyra, some of the chain link fences and even images of humans in here that have uh, affected my thinking about the political situation. But I try to be subtle about it. I think most of the importance comes from the visuals themselves the shapes, the color, the light, and the form. So I've tried to capture a little bit of that and a little bit of the essence of every place that I've traveled. Thank you.